Hi, uh, welcome back to i Plus. Today we are going to see uh, how do you judge whether the target system is up and running or not. Okay. Sometimes during the penetration testing we come across a situation where when we do a ping, uh, we don't get the response from the system, but uh, there are other ways to find out. And how do you also uh, do an NMAP scan for the system that doesn't actually respond to you for the ping request? Okay, for example, we have a site called uh, scanme.nmap.org. Let's do a, a ping for the system. Ping scanme.nmap.org. And I'm going to give a count as, uh, let's say, 5. And let's see what the response is for the scanme.nmap.org. So we have been waiting. And uh, there is no response for this particular system. Do a control C. And there is an other command called mping, okay, which is uh, uh, from the developers of nmap themselves. Mping for the same site, scanme.nmap.org. If I'm going to choose uh, hyphen hyphen ICMP, I see that um, uh, uh, the packets are sent. Okay, five packets are sent. I have not received anything as a response. Yeah. Now, how do I know whether the system is still up and running or actually not? We do a TCP ping. Okay, what you actually see is we send the packets and we also receive it. Okay, so send and receive. So you actually see uh, the raw packets sent are five and received are five. The lost, the loss is actually zero. If you look at the ICMP ping, okay, so uh, we have five packets and we have not received anything, and uh, the loss is actually uh, you know loss is actually five. So we know whether the target system is up and running or not. Yeah. In the next video, we will see how do you do a scan for the end map. The how do you how do, you do an end map scan for the system rather to um, for the system that is going to fail initially, saying the system is not up and running. Okay. So thank you very much. Hope you have enjoyed your video, and you have a great day. Cheers. Then.